Hello and welcome back to another AV14 video on the Radio Master TX16S. Uh, today we're going to be talking about advanced mixing and model setup, but first, last video we talked about how to reverse channels with weight, but this is a lot simpler way. Um, you scroll over to outputs, select the channel you want to reverse, and scroll over to that last arrow there and just click on it and it'll reverse automatically. Shout out to Tim from the Radio Master User Facebook page for showing me how to do that. Next we're going to talk about action timing which is another pretty simple feature on the RM. So you're going to go into mixes and I'm going to use flaps for this case and I'm going to hit edit and on the right you'll notice delay up and down and then uh, slow up and down. So delay basically what that does is it delays or stops that action from happening for one second and you can see the right flap is a regular flap, left flap is a delayed by one second flap and so you can see it's not moving until after a whole second goes by. Now here I'm going to demonstrate slow. It's basically just a fade and I love to use slow for my flaps. I give it one second each. So you can see again the right one is nice and snappy. That's without any uh, action timing on it and the left one fades nicely into the flap setting. Next we're going to make a elevator flap mix which is useful if your model balloons on flap deployment. So we're going to copy our elevator mix by selecting it in the mixes and scrolling down. Then we're going to edit that new mix scroll down the offset and this offset value is going to be how much your elevator moves when you put the flaps down. We are then going to scroll down to switch and assign that to the flap switch. Now because this is a three position switch only one mix will be able to go on to one position that switch. So if you want to make a new mix for a different flap setting then you'll have to use another mix. Next we are going to program our flaperons and spoilerons. So first we're going to start with flaperons and I'm going to make a copy of the aileron mix and going to edit that and I'm going to name it right away just so I don't get confused and then I'm going to scroll down to offset and that's either going to be negative 100 or positive 100 depending on if your channel is reversed or not. In this case it's going to be negative 100 and that's going to bring our control surface all the way down giving us um, kind of like that flap uh, functionality and then we're gonna scroll down to switch and assign it on a three position now uh, the thing about the switch uh, assignments is you can only have one switch per mix or one uh, position per mix which actually works out in this case so we're gonna use our bottom position as our flap on our top position as our spoiler on so we're gonna make another copy of that mix now we're making the spoiler ons again I named my mix right away going down to offset and it's just going to be opposite so for this case it was negative 100 for flaperons it's going to be positive 100 for our spoilerons and then when we go back to that switch assignment we're going to assign it to the top part so now we're going to have our top part of the switch be spoilerons middle will be neutral and the bottom part of the switch is going to be our flaperons And after repeating that process on the right side, we take this switch, and if we put that in the down position, we get flaperons, middle position is neutral, and then up is spoilerons. And if we put our flaperons down and our flaps down, all of our wing control surfaces are down for a high climb configuration. Last but not least, we are going to program differential flaps to increase maneuverability in the air. So we are going to copy this uh, flap mix, we're going to go into edit, and we're actually going to select um, our aileron stick as a source. That way when our aileron stick moves, so does the flaps. And then we are going to change the offset. We're going to center out the offset. That way when this function is activated or the switch is pressed, um, our flaps don't go down because we want them to stay in the center. We just want them to move when our ailerons move down. So now when we give this a test, you can see that they are both our flaps and ailerons are moving together and that's fine but I'm gonna want to assign this onto a switch that way I can turn this function on and off and so that's just gonna be I'm gonna again put this over the left stick so now without left stick it's just regular ailerons with the left stick down one we get ailerons and flaps increased maneuverability now last but not least uh, to finish this function off I'm actually going to dial back on that weight just a little bit uh, that way the flaps travel a bit less and you can see here it just looks a bit, a bit better and I think it'll function a bit better as well. Anyways, that is all I got for you right now. Hopefully you found this enjoyable and helpful. Um, stay tuned because next week I'm going to be doing a video on how to set up the trainer and how to do some basic global functions on the Radio Master TX-16S. Thanks once again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.